Welcome to Body Solutions, where total physical fitness is directed by a physical therapist. I'm going to show you the ideal warm-up to do before any kind of exercise class, weight training, uh, typical exercises, excluding martial arts or high-speed activities. Okay, so this is the ideal warm-up because it will help stretch the muscles, it will help warm up the muscles, and most importantly, it will prepare your joints to be stable while you exercise. That's a key missing uh, component of a warm-up that a lot of people don't think about. Working what's called the proprioceptors. Okay, the little sensory fibers that sort of prepare the joints to be nice and stable. So here we go. Each one of these movements I want to show you, you want to do for five repetitions, holding each position for five seconds for each side. So the first one is a series of lunging. You're going to take one step back, keep uh, the back knee straight, and basically just arch your back, Look up and try to reach your arms as far back as you can. Hold this for five seconds. Then you're going to go down, lunging as low as you can. Again, trying to keep the back knee straight. Hold this for five seconds. Then keeping the knee straight, you're going to turn, stretching out your back, chest, holding that for five seconds. And then drop the hand down to the outside of this leg and try to straighten this knee and hold that for five seconds, stretching this hamstring and your lower back. Okay, and of course you will repeat that for the other side. Here's a view of it from the side view. Dropping the leg back, arching, holding this for five seconds, dropping both hands down, lunging forward and down, holding for five seconds. This gets the hip flexor here, the glutes on that side. Turn, stretch the back, chest. Drop it to the outside of this leg, straightening the front leg. Stretching the calf and the back leg. Okay? First movement. So you would do each leg, each side, five second holds, five repetitions. Okay? So the second movement is going to be for your shoulder. Um, sort of the posterior capsule of the shoulder, as well as the hip out here. So what you do is you're going to grab your shoulder underneath, pull it across your body, take a step, and lunge down. You want to try to keep your body facing forward as much as possible, because this is tight, it's going to want to twist your body, and you want to try to keep it forward, keeping your chest up. Okay, then the other side, other arm, holding that for five seconds. Depending upon your flexibility, you may not be able to get all the way here. You might only get to here, that's okay. Just kind of squat down like this. You should feel stretched stretch right here. This type of warm-up, I'm sure you can feel, is a slight workout as you're warming up. That's the whole idea, it's going to warm up the muscles. So again, you would do five repetitions for five second holds, each position, each side. Okay, so the next movement is going to be for getting the other part of your shoulder. This will so get the back part. The next one will get sort of the front here, and also the tricep. So you're going to reach up, down your back, take this hand, grab your elbow, and you're going to try to pull it this way. And you should feel stretch right here. Holding that position, you're going to lunge to the side. Stretching the inner thigh. And then switch arms. Go to this side. Hold that for five seconds. And then this side for five seconds. And then this side for five seconds. Okay? So with those stretches, I'm going to do the five second holds five times each side. And the last one is the inchworm. I'll show you a side view. You're going to go down, walk your hands forward as far as you can. And just keeping your legs straight, pushing your feet forward. Okay? Hold that for five, and then repeat. Turn around, walking the arms as far as you can, and then the legs forward as far as you can, holding for five seconds. So, again, uh, because that's a one sided stretch, there's no two sides, it's just five second holds five times, and you're done. So, when you complete the whole warm up circuit, you should be a uh, little heated up, warmed up, as well as stretched out. Now help you prepare for your exercises.